Ooh, what's up guys this is Bubba TV 24 and welcome to the channel we are back in space tycoon and I'm gonna show you guys around some of the places that I have been able to get to I'm very far into the game I've made it to Alpha Centauri I'm gonna show you guys that but first there are gonna be some of these flags that I need to capture and I need to capture 16 of them in order to get a special dropper if you guys enjoy this game you want to see more of it if I'm helping you out uh, please be sure to leave a like on the video that kind of thing uh, be sure to subscribe so you know when new stuff comes out and also be sure to go to my Twitter at Bubba TV 24 link in the description this spaceship that you can fly around is on the very top uh, floor it's floor 7 of the elevator and it costs quite a bit of money but some of these places are not reachable just by regular teleporters and you can't settle there so like this guy right here is uh, we are on Io which is one of Jupiter's moons and um, in order for us to I don't know if we can actually capture anything here oh it's a $200,000 cash for an obby is that all is that all that's here is an obby well uh, okay, we're, we'll give it a shot uh, and see what happens here. Um, so you want to capture a lot of these flags because look at that, three million for Pluto. Uh, the Ganymede, the one that we were just on, seven million per tick. So you're gonna get a lot of money. Uh, but we are doing this in order to um, uh, possibly, I imagine, maybe get an achievement or unlock a dropper at some point point in time uh although ooh, 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 don't stand on that for too long okay at least an insta kill um there we go we did it oh we're all the way back here oh crap okay teleport back to my base uh teleport somewhere else okay well we have a ton of money here by the way i'm just gonna grab it all up well, we, you know, I spent some of it, but we're going to go to the very top here. So I can go up to here, I believe. Hit this. So here's the hangar. We're going to respawn the ship here. Boom. There it is. Uh, I, w I need 550 million. But before I do that, I can go ahead and actually get the Phobos dropper, which is going to make some money here. Golden flag doubles the flag revenue. It's a badge that you can get, but you need 16 or more flags in the solar system at once. This includes moons and planets. So that's what I'm trying to do. But you get double money for flags. Triton is Neptune's moon. So I'm going to have to fly all the way out there to get it. Uh, there's 40 mil for a roof. Does Do I really need the roof? I might as well, because I usually unlock stuff, right? Uh, there we go. Come on. For the lights. Aha, neon outline. Ooh. Oh, that is hot. That hot neon outline. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I'm also making gems passively, so there is something you can unlock that is, um, later on. It is, uh, uh, there are these um, satellites that just popped up out front of the base. Uh, we actually probably want to go, I didn't want to do that, did, did I? Um, we'll get the ISS like next to last here. We're going we're gonna to head out this way. We're going to go to Mars first and land here. Um, as you can see on the ship, it says sun energy is zero. You literally need to fly into the sun, guys to um to get these so actually we can do that faster <clears throat> by teleporting um so we have the moons over here we need to go to saturn and see if we can get the moon there real quick um so i've done those moons i have the uh, asteroid belt which is new over here and the asteroid belt what it does is it actually has a bunch of different gem nodes that you can mine and they're different levels and so you can go up there with your different pickaxes if you have super high level ones and go get different levels of uh, gems out of them um, the best place to go though for gems that kind of thing is Pluto if you get there it is another thing like the ISS where it is an inner it is an international place so 
every person who goes there, every player can build on the building and it has a bunch of gem droppers there that will drop the like tons of gems. Um, it also has a wave defense mode where if you defeat all three waves of aliens uh, and you defeat the big boss at the end and get his gem, not only do you get a special thing in your um, your main base, but you also get a ton of gems that drop from them, gives you tons of gems as well. Uh, the problem with the aliens in this game is that they are way too powerful. They are overpowered for what they are. And they will one-shot you with the light. They have lightsabers. They'll one-shot you with lightsabers. They'll one-shot you by shooting you, that kind of thing. Now, as you can see, I have better weapons at the bottom and you get those from the store that is in the very center of earth you use gems to buy those things and this ray gun that i have isn't even the best one of the bunch it's just a very good one uh so the best one is like a hundred thousand gems or three hundred thousand gems it's expensive so if you want that you got to really save up uh alpha centauri is also pretty interesting because it is um just a whole new area to build on but it actually removes you from this game and takes you to a new game and the problem with that is that because you're going to a whole new game any settlements that you have on any of these planets they're gone they're going to disappear even if you need to come back and make a ton of money because everything on alpha centauri is super expensive if you're going to go there make sure you probably have over a billion dollars so that you can buy the first few sets of droppers to get you going uh the problem also is that because it's in a different game you can't make money off of those droppers while you're in this game so uh and vice versa so if you're in the other game you're in alpha centauri in that game you're not able to make any money off of droppers from this one so it really does make sense to stay here until you've finished everything and then go to alpha centauri so that's what's gonna that's just word of word of wisdom there so we're gonna try and head our way over to saturn's moon which i think i can actually just get to um through the teleporter but then we're gonna head over and hit up the moons by uranus or uranus and um neptune so we're gonna check that out here in just a minute so we're actually gonna see if i can't fly through saturn because when uh you're doing it normally it breaks your ship um okay so we are gonna need to get the saturn flag i hope this doesn't break my um ship because it breaks the other one so far it hasn't so i'm gonna assume i can just come down here with it and grab it um saturn actually shouldn't hurt me at all because i have all of the upgrades uh for heat and uh, gas and cold so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, shut the ship off here there we go. we're gonna jump out and grab Saturn now we have this moon here and I don't know if there's anything on this moon but it looks like it's solid so we're gonna take a look thank you it doesn't save anything oh yeah this is the jumping point so we don't need to worry about that okay, we're running through see so you can see these guys drop gems and we got to kill them before we get there so probably I may die before finishing this so we'll see but we're gonna grab this real quick and by real quick I mean you know it's gonna take forever we might be able to do this All right, we got it what number is this number six of 16 that I need okay so I see two moons. No, that's actually, I think that's Pluto. Never mind. I was gonna say, I think I see two moons, but I'm pretty sure that's Pluto. So here is one of the moons. And I don't know if it's in or on. Looks like it's in. Whoa, it's a cryo volcano. Uh, and my ship is gonna crash. Okay, so it's gonna keep sliding. I would prefer that he didn't slide. There we go. Uh oh. And stop moving, please. Oh my gosh. This thing slides around so much you can't just take a vertical. You can't just make a vertical stop. There we go. 
All right, we're in a good spot here. And we're gonna grab this guy here. I have 15. Now I just need earth, middle, and I will have 16. And I'll need to teleport back here as soon as possible to get... Let me drive, come on. To get that thing. So we're gonna take the middle real quick, teleport back. ASAP. And we will have all 16. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is number 16. Uh, where are you going? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? No, we're killing you real quick. And then... That's 16, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, to the planet. Here. Now we gotta run all the way up to the top and grab this quickly. Hangar. Go, go, go. I wish I could run faster. And then... We're gonna grab it. What? This includes moons and planets. Yeah, I have 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I've captured 16 flags in the solar system at once. I have them! Oh, it's busted. All that for nothing. Oh, that's so irritating. Okay, this this ship is so much faster with this upgrade. So I just flew past Mercury super fast. As you can see, the sun is coming up very quickly. Now, this will not kill us uh, because we have the heat module. But once you get close enough to the sun, you'll start to get sun energy slowly. And your ship is going to burn up a bit. But you're gonna go through these rings here, and you need 150. This is not very difficult to do. That might be a little bit difficult with the speed, jeez. All right, we have enough to go to Alpha Centauri. So now we have 150. Okay, I have my money. I think it may be enough, but we're gonna grab the, the ship here and hopefully turn this bad boy around. And we are gonna go to the wormhole over here with our sun energy. Boom. All right, we're now in. Loading data. There we go, we are, oh, spinning out like crazy. Whoa, hello. All right, to the first planet over here. As you can see, we got a big area here. I cannot go in this sun here. It will kill me. It is way too big and dangerous and hot. Probably an upgrade I'll have to get later because obviously there are circles in it. So I think that'll be a thing. But we're going to go and land here at our new base. And the new base is... Uh, we're going to go ahead and just quick teleport in here. There are a bunch of ships that have uh, spawned in here because things are broken with that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to buy the Alpha Centauri dropper. And then now we're on the way to making money. Uh, so it's going to do its thing slowly and it's going to make some money. And now we are kind of stuck here unless we want to go back. But you got to remember that it will be a new game. It'll separate the games. So it, it is good to come in here with like a couple billion dollars probably. So that's pretty much it for Space Tycoon. I don't know if I'm going to end up finishing this one. I might just in my own time. It is a very long, long, long game with some hangups that I don't really care for. I don't like fighting the aliens. I don't like having to put down settlements every time I come back into the game. Even though it saves it, it's just a hassle to have to travel to all these different planets and then continuously put down settlements just so I can make some more money. But that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Feel free to subscribe. Also be sure to leave a comment on my Twitter. It's at BubbaTV24. Link in the description. 
I will see you guys next time, and I am signing out.